Hey, how's it going? Nat here, coming up on Newsbreak. The European Space Agency is looking for new astronauts. Victoria's lockdown ends. And superheroes to the rescue. But before we get started, go ahead and hit subscribe. The European Space Agency is looking for new astronauts. It's been 11 years since the last call-out, but this time around it wants more women to apply and they're hoping for the first time ever to recruit an astronaut with a disability. Here's Leela. Are you sick of Earth? Reckon you've got what it takes to be an astronaut? But if you do, maybe you could join the European Space Agency. It's hoping to recruit a diverse new team of astronauts. The ESA has only ever sent two women to space, so this time it wants heaps of women to apply. They're also encouraging people with a physical disability who may have been overlooked in the past. They'll help the space agency find ways to adapt current tech so they can live and work on the ISS and on future missions. But how do you make the cut in the first place? Well, applicants must have specific university qualifications, come from a member country, preferably be in this age range, speak English and a second language, oh, and pass six stages which test their scientific and technical know-how, physical capabilities and mental state. It's a long process. It's certainly quite stressful. And we have to be honest, you know, we expect and we hope that thousands of people will apply and we are only going to select a handful. Four to six astronauts to be exact and 20 reserve astronauts. Applications open late March and the lucky few could end up living on the International Space Station or even setting foot on the moon. Some great news now if you're living in Victoria. The state's five-day lockdown ends tonight. From midnight, almost all restrictions will be lifted. People will only be allowed to have five visitors in their home, though, and everyone will still have to wear masks when they can't socially distance. Schools will reopen, and spectators will be allowed back at the Australian Open. You're about to meet Triumph the Koala. He's a rescue and was born with a missing foot. Now, with some specially designed help, he's up and about and happier than ever. This is the tale of how a three-footed koala became a walking, climbing, jumping extraordinaire and a total cagouti patootie, but that's beside the point. Yep, this is Triumph, and I gotta say, the name really suits him. He was rescued by Marley here on a property near Lismore in northern New South Wales back in 2017. We noticed that he was walking a little bit funny, so, um, yeah, and on retrieval, we noticed that he was missing a foot. So Marley got straight to work and put a call out to anyone who might be able to make a prosthetic one for him. People have tried, um, they were amazing, but they just did not work. They were far too uh, invasive, they were huge, um, and sadly they didn't work. Oh, how much can a koala bear? Enter John. He's actually Marley's dentist and usually makes dentures for humans, but he thought he'd have a crack at the old koala boot too. I mean, how different can it really be? And success. It's just perfect. It assists him with climbing, um, walking, running. He can actually do little jumps now. It um, yeah, takes away all the discomfort. Yeah, he seems such a happy koala now. <laughs> While Triumph's still getting used to his new accessory, Marley says it's got all the koalifications to give him an active and happy life. Aww. Now, what do superheroes, light shows and molten lava all have in common? Not a whole lot, really. But you're going to be impressed. Talk about explosive. This is Mount Etna in Italy, and this is a volcanic eruption. You might have seen it before because it erupts quite a bit. But lately, it's been spewing volcanic ash into the sky, closing a nearby airport and covering everything in crusty bits of black volcano dust. Lunar New Year might have kicked off last week, but in China, Spring Festival is still in full swing. Cities around the country have been putting on spectacular light shows, decorating buildings, bridges and even gardens of light. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's an Austrian Special Police Force officer dressed up as Spider-Man. Dressed up in superhero costumes, these highly skilled operatives wanted to bring a little bit of joy to kids inside this hospital. And it seems some adults too. 
Later on, there was even a meet and greet and photo shoot for some lucky kids. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. In the meantime, you can hit subscribe and we'll see you again tomorrow. See ya.